Okay, so this is Amanda. Amanda Chacon has been one of our members since uh, basically what, like a month after we started. Um, I want to say that you started in August of 2012. So sound about right. Yeah, it's been a long time, and uh, her husband also is with us, and now her son also. So, Amanda, why did you decide to become a member of CrossFit Valley? Well, I saw you at a party, and you were starting your gym, and you convinced me that it was for everyone, and like, even us big girls could do it, and I didn't believe you, but I've decided to try it anyway. <laughs> By big girls, I think she means that you can't tell right now sitting down, but she's she's pretty tall. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, and I was a lot heavier than you. Oh. And so, like, it, you told me there was some heavy people that did it. And I was like, no, there's not. But there were. So, so that brings us to how long have you been a member? Almost nine years. Not it's like nine years. we're coming up on our nine year anniversary this summer. So, yeah. not not too long. Um, what were your goals when you first started? Well, as always, lose weight was my number one goal. Um, and um, I just didn't feel good about myself. And so I was looking for something, anything to, you know, get me started in that direction. And this seemed like the whole package, like there was nutrition advice and um, just one-on-one, -on -one, like, communication and workouts, strength building, cardio, all of it. It was just like the whole package. So, so you feel like you accomplished that goal of, of losing weight? You feel like you... I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. I mean, summer's coming up and I still want to lose weight. Right. It's going to be your progress. Yes, but it's going to be a constant battle, but... I will attest to the fact that Amanda has done amazing and she's gotten stronger and yeah. lost weight and her just her overall yeah. performance is um pretty awesome yeah um so have your goals changed at all yes now um my goals are more I just want to have a healthy lifestyle and whatever and CrossFit like I said is a whole package with that there's so much health inside of the CrossFit yeah. system like, yeah what do you think is one of the biggest surprises that you found you kind of got into CrossFit that you didn't really realize was such a big component as far as like you keep talking about health, CrossFit being like the whole kind of package of health um I didn't realize it was going to be like a stress reliever mm -hmm. and it's like I think that is the number one thing I can never get rid of CrossFit now because it's like <laughs> a stress <laughs> I don't know how I would relieve stress if I didn't come pick up a barbell every now and then or kettlebell or do some lunges some or something. Yeah. And yeah, it's kind of funny because I hear that from a lot of people. Um, and I don't even think about it until I've been in one of those situations where it's been like three or four weeks, or maybe not three or four, let's say like a week and a half or two weeks and I haven't had time for a good workout and I'm just cranky and yeah. irritable and you know, my husband will say, uh, you need to make sure you get your workout done today. <laughs> so I will. And then all of a sudden I feel like 10 times better. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like, it's like a little pep you up because mm -hmm. you accomplish something and you feel good about yourself yeah, afterward. Because yeah. if you want to quit, yeah. yeah. If I want to quit during the workout and I push through that, it's just like, it's so like you climbed the mountain. Yeah. 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 You're like, oh, I'm invincible. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, so what were you expecting when you started the gym? Like what kind of people were you expecting? What did you think the workouts would be like? Well, I, I mean, this was back in 2012. So mm -hmm. it wasn't as popular as it is now, but um, I thought it was just going to be bro gym. And like, I thought it was mainly going to be men. And I thought it was mainly going to be like narcissistic, egotistical <laughs> guys that were trying to like outdo each other and, do like really intense things just to show off mm -hmm. but that was not what it was like at all there were women and it was um you know normal average looking people not just like chiseled you know david sculptured people <laughs> <laughs> there were like normal people in there and everyone was encouraging and um yeah it was just like it was exactly what i needed so 
were the workouts a surprise to you at all? Oh yeah. I mean, well, the workouts were challenging. I think my first workout had like a 48 burpee buy-in. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I missed those days. We that was not that <laughs> exciting, but I did it. And then, um, um, and then everything was scalable too. So that's what you had told me before I started. That's why that was the only reason I was ever going to start because, you know, I can't do handstand pushups still to this day. But um, there's a skill for every every single movement. There's a skill available. So, and I still skill a lot today. Yeah. What's one of the things you can do now that you never thought you could do? Um, a handstand. And yeah, like yeah. Just standing on your hands. Yeah, just doing a handstand. Not, I, I can't really do it in the air that well, but I can do it against the wall. And I remember I never, when people would do it in the class, I always thought that was like so cool, but I could, I never even tried it because I thought it was so hard. And then you would help me, you would like hold my legs at first, <laughs> and I thought I was going to kill you because you're so <laughs> tiny and I'm so big. <laughs> But then one day I got it and I was like, it was, I don't remember, that feeling when I first got that handstand, I was like, this is the most amazing thing in the world. <laughs> I can do that feeling is addictive too. It's like, yeah. Anymore. What, what can I do? Yeah. <laughs> so like, I remember two like pull-ups. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, I forgot. That was a big one. That was a big one. Rope climbing, like yeah. we were climbing mm -hmm. on the rope. Like, I don't know. You've had a lot of cool milestones over the years. I'm, Getting a few double mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. it's exciting yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is. Um, so, do you have like one thing that you just absolutely hate to do? Like, uh, <laughs> I don't think this is on your list of questions, but we're talking about all the fun things. But <laughs> I really hate to not enjoy um, squatting a lot, mm -hmm. especially heavy. But that's just because I have some mobility and so issue old injuries but yeah. um okay that's probably yeah. well and we can get into that too actually um like you've had over the years like just off again on again things that we have had to kind of work with and mm -hmm. um nothing thankfully like catastrophic but you've had some back issues and some hip issues and like what what are some of the things that you've done to help with that so that you can keep on going and, and keep working out um, and keep going to work because I know even yeah. like just sitting at, at work mm -hmm. is hard yeah I think it took me a long time and I finally realized I'm, I had to listen to my body and I have to like not worry about what other people are doing mm -hmm. and I have to modify it according to how I'm feeling and it may be different it may be like on Tuesday my back or my hip might feel great and I can do whatever I'm supposed to do, but then the next day it might be bugging me. And so I need to just listen to my body and scale appropriately. And, um, you know, I've also, you know, done stuff outside of here, like physical therapy, and, mm -hmm. uh, chiropractic care and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? and, and I think that those things are important. Um, you know, we can't just like, as much as I would love people to come in and just be able to like hit it hard every single day, like we have to learn to listen to our bodies. Like I've been through the same thing, you know, we, we think oh, I'm just going to push through it'll, it'll be fine. Or I'm being like a wuss or whatever. Um, but like the older I get, <laughs> the, the more I realize, like, I just need to, it's okay to tone it back a little bit. Yeah. And, and, you know, maybe today I'm not feeling a hundred percent. And like you mm -hmm. said, like some days, you can do a certain movement and there's no issue. And then mm -hmm. other days it just doesn't feel quite right. And we just find something that works yeah. and you still get a good workout. Yeah, that's my goal is just to get a good workout, get a good sweat. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, and you can still long -term. make like yeah. progress over the long term yeah. doing that, probably more so because mm -hmm. we're yeah. not having to take off yeah. time to rest, you know, yeah. whatever it is that's flared up. So anyway, sometimes we like, want to avoid talking about the the i word injuries but um i think i've just known so many people that have injuries that don't even work out and yeah. you know it's oh, like yeah. that just that keeps them from working out and mm -hmm. you know there's ways that, that we can do it and yeah. and generally if we do it the smart way we'll end up being better in the long run mm -hmm. it, so. yeah and i think the knee that i hurt that leg is stronger than my other knee yeah. because i've I did all the rehab yeah, stuff and, and then I really focus on it. You know, focus on good positions mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's good. And it, and it is, it's like 
I don't know, we just can't expect that we're never going to come up against some of those hurdles in life. Like, you know, if we're using our body, we're going to have some things here and there to work through and we just need to be smart about our approach to doing it. Mm-hmm. So, um, what is your favorite part of being a member here? Um, I like the people. I think it's, you know, kind of like cheers. You want to go where everyone knows your name and just when you come in the gym and people greet you and talk to you and that, I, I like that. And I think as we share a common goal and we share, you know, we suffer together. I think that builds the relationships and then, I don't know, it's just, just fun and there's something magical about that like shared suffering (laughs) you you finish like a really hard workout all together and it's kind of funny even if we have like a few uh people in a class like where maybe not everybody knows each other that Uh well you know people kind of like nod and say hi or whatever at the beginning but by the end everybody's like hey it's so good you know just like yeah it breaks the tension and everybody feels good now you're bonded forever (laughs) um so what, um, like, have you learned anything about yourself while being a member here? Yes, I like to be challenged. I didn't think that I liked to be challenged. I thought that I liked everything to be the same and easy, but I really thrived in a challenge, in challenging environment. And the mental challenge helps me and just how all the workouts are varied. And I don't have to think about it but it's a mental challenge to get through them sometimes. That's like the biggest challenge you feel like you've had workout wise. Um, I think calcio, mm-hmm. I don't even do calcio, I do baby calcio and it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> because you can't, you can't rest, like the more you rest, the more work you have to do. So it's like, mm-hmm. you gotta mm-hmm. keep pushing yourself. And so that, that in itself is a mental challenge, just knowing that you're gonna do more work if you slack off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and it's like, okay, do you want to take it easy now, or do you just want to suck it yeah. up and get it over yeah. with? Because exactly. <laughs> if you take it easy now, it'll never end. Yeah, <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> and and taking it easy is still not that easy. Yeah, so, um, but um, what about like, what's what's one of the biggest struggles you've had just in general um, with within? being in the gym like not maybe not a specific workout but maybe like a movement that took a lot of time to try to figure out or maybe like I don't know just anything that that just Uh, was a big challenge I I mean it's it's still kind of hard sometimes just like like we talked about progress over perfection like if I can't do something either the way it's prescribed or if it's um if I'm just weak in a certain area like box jumps I'm really weak at box jumps um it's just sometimes it's not fun to come on those days and so um I think that's the challenge that's the challenge yeah just kind of just coming in to do the thing that you just you know you suck at or that you everyone is going to be doing really well at and you're not or yeah yeah. people are regret coming on those days no (laughs) (laughs) okay remember that next time (laughs) Yeah, that's usually the answer. Nobody ever seems to regret once they come in and just do it. Um, what what would you say to somebody that said CrossFit isn't for them? Um, I would try to dig deeper and ask them. Like, there's probably some stereotype that they're believing, or there's probably some misinformation that they've gotten. Or, and so I would ask a lot of questions. But then I would also just tell them just to try it because. I mean, you never know the thing that you're intimidated by may be the thing you end up loving, Mm -hmm. the thing that may, you know, keep you coming back for more, you know, like if you're afraid of barbells or something, you know, that may be what you actually end up loving the most. That's That's what I like. I I I didn't like barbells. I I had no clue how to use yeah, them when I first got introduced to it and now I love it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Not that I'm great, but I love them. Yeah. So fun. Um what uh what is like one of your favorite memories of being a member? <laughs> uh I don't know if you you may remember this, but you don't I don't know if you were there. I mean you know you weren't there. It was one Halloween, it was at 5.30 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> we all dressed up, uh, Laura Reinhardt and I don't remember who else. We dressed up for Halloween <laughs> and we did the workout at 5.30 in the morning and it was the, Mitch was our coach. 
and it was like 40 movements and that that one was like so complicated there was so much so many so much equipment we needed so many different movements so much destruction and we were all in costume being crazy and it was like it was like we had taken some drugs that morning <laughs> and so it was just, I mean we have pictures from that I mean we never take pictures at 5 30 in the morning but we did that morning and it was just a funny story That's and then one time Mitch I was sleeping at 5 30 a.m. <laughs> I remember this I story. I've never seen the picture. Yes, yeah. and, and that picture pops up yeah. all the time. And then Mitch took a picture of me and he said, This is how we wore that. In and class. Class. <laughs> and he posted it and shamed me on Facebook. And now it shows up every few years. <laughs> Um, so has being a member changed your life outside of gym at all? Well, I was on, um, antidepressants when I first started and I was able to get off of those. So that was a huge change. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then also, um, I think it's just given me confidence to try things even when they're scary or they're out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. and so like like if I have a big challenge in my career coming up or you know something parenting wise or other areas of my life where I might have something that scares me or intimidates me I think the stuff that I've learned in CrossFit has shown me that you know you can try it and you may surprise yourself yeah. and you may it may be fun and it may be you may make yourself proud or or you may you, fail but yeah, you also yeah. learn that it's okay like yeah it's not gonna be the yeah. end of the world exactly and yeah. that's it's kind of funny because that's one of the things that I've learned over the years and I really feel like just CrossFit and like constantly challenging yourself it sounds so ridiculous and it's hard to even like explain and people that don't do this probably are like whatever but mm -hmm. it's like I think just constantly challenging yourself and like stepping up to things that you feel like you're way in over your head um like in a workout like all of a sudden you realize it's okay to do that in real life like yeah. take chances like I used to just I would never take a chance on anything if I didn't feel 100% comfortable it's super introverted I hated taking risks um you know, I didn't, I didn't want to look dumb and I didn't want to fail. Yeah. And now like, it's just, I don't know, it's just totally different over the last 10, 11 years. You know, it's like, I mean, nobody loves to fail, you know, yeah. but it's, it's just yeah, it makes you more curious to yeah. see what could happen versus yeah. being worried about what might happen. <laughs> yeah. So let's see, what else do we have? Um, how often do you come and how do you make time for it? Um, you know, over the years, I've gone to different classes, but right now I'm going to the 5.30 a.m. class. Uh, I think that one's, the, that one's the easiest one for me to come consistently to, and I come about four times a week, sometimes three, sometimes five, but consistently it's like four. And um, that's how I make it fit in my schedule because it's first thing in the morning. Yeah. Kids. Yeah, I've got kids and a dog. And you have like a Bible study group. Uh -huh. and like you have a lot of things going yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, and for the evenings, it's a little dicier, but um, picture. Yeah, 5:30 a.m. It's so early, and I see you here in my show up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, One time I was worked out with the I did, and I ruined your workout because I knocked over. PVC pipe, do you remember that? Yes, we're doing over under. Oh, that's one movement I really hate. Over under. I kind of like them, except for when I'm sharing. That one. <laughs> Not going to set up over. So, speaking of being busy, so you've got two kids, a husband, two dogs. Yeah. And um, your husband is also a member and has been for a long time. And I think he's also one of those people that maybe has learned to take on some challenges mm -hmm. every, have you what do you think has been the biggest change you've seen in him over the years um I think maybe just yeah like trying new things and pushing through things he doesn't like to do like kind of getting over himself a little mm -hmm. and just um 
just doing things that he's not good at. I think it's kind of funny because he started just a couple months after yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he's just here recently going through like a growth spurt. And he's <laughs> he's 49. <laughs> um, but he's like suddenly doing things that he's just never even done. Yeah, he's running willingly. Uh, he would avoid running like a plague. In fact, that's one of my funniest memories ever coaching is like at the two, two old gyms ago when they're everybody was supposed to be out running a 400 and I went out and stood on the big tire to watch everybody come around and I'm looking all the way down the, the parking lot to the end where they're supposed to come through and all of a sudden I see Tony like <laughs> bobbing up he'd cut, take him a shortcut <laughs> and was coming <laughs> coming around I was like what are you doing and he, knew he was busted turn around and went back um but it was just so funny so and now all of a sudden he's like doing 24 inch box jumps mm -hmm. and do and like running yeah. and like just trying things that he normally would just kind of like ah, i'm not gonna do that so. mm -hmm. it's it's, it's kind of it's kind of funny I, I like it though it's, it's good yeah. and and troy your son has started here um he's he's participated in our kids classes but also the adult classes because mm -hmm. he's he's at that age where he'll go with either one and I think he gets good out of both of them mm -hmm. what do you think he thinks about it so far has he gotten to the point where he enjoys it or is it still like my parents are making me do this I think he enjoys it once he's in it mm -hmm. and, and when he's finished sometimes getting him here yes. is a little hard but um but Ryan yeah. is like Mostly yeah, it's time to work out, and then once we get going, yeah, he has fun, and afterwards yeah. he feels all good. Yeah. So it's, he definitely has those endorphins afterwards. But yeah. um, he, he uh, it's just fun to see how he what what encourages and motivates him because I think he needs positive reinforcement during the workout, yeah. and so. And you know, I, I think it's fun just watching you guys as a family all working out together and um it's it's just it's pretty fun i like yeah. it um and then one other part you've also gone through our nutrition coaching um what do you feel like is the one big takeaway you've gotten from nutrition over the years um probably um progress over perfection same thing um just knowing that going to be 100 percent perfect but that doesn't mean just throw the towel in and you know eat everything inside you do know? <laughs> like you want to but yeah. yeah no i think so i think that's that's about it that's like forever to really get that in my brain but now that it's there it's kind of it's a lifestyle now yeah. it's like more yeah, um, yeah. like kind of Normal. Yeah, it's just normal. if you have an off day, it's not like the end of the world yeah. because you know you can just yeah. like get right back on track. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. I, th I feel like I've seen um, just like you've you've been in a place where you're just like at a good spot. You don't mm -hmm. you don't seem to be like struggling and like yeah. fighting. Mm -hmm. all the time. So yeah. You're kind of in a good spot where you can just we're good. It's not like a stress stressful part of your life at this point. Yeah, yeah. I don't think about it all the time like I used to. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, I, I like food. Yeah, right. <laughs> it doesn't have this hold on me that I used to. So, yeah. Um, well, thank you for being uh, the first guest. <coughs> Excuse me, <laughs> on this podcast. I'm getting choked up. <laughs> Gosh. Um, is there anything else you want to share? Um, no, I don't think so. I think it's. I mean, I, I just, over the years I've thought, I guess there's, sometimes there comes a burnout and you think, well, maybe I should try something different. I, I got a Peloton bike and then I've tried, um, I guess I wanted to do more stuff at home just because I thought it'd be easier um, on my schedule. But I just, I'm just not, I just think we need each other. To, I mean, I really do think like iron sharpens iron and we, we're better together. And I really think that do think there's a value in having those things to use at home? Yeah. Um, especially when we were all shut down, like, yeah. you know, sending you workouts. And I know you had yeah. all this other equipment. So, yeah. so it was just like, 
helpful. And yeah. then, you know, just to, to break away, like you said, sometimes you get burned out. And, yeah. and so it's nice to be able to just do something else that's not um, yeah. related to kind of CrossFit style workouts. But I totally agree with you. Like the, the longer you do that, I, I just see a trend where your, your intensity and your overall fitness just kind of starts yeah. to decline because you don't have that push, yeah, um, you know, right. and the yeah. support from the other people. And, and, um, you know, I, I, think I like that iron sharpens iron is like, that's mm-hmm. a really good way to put it. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I can never be without another thing. <laughs> Thanks for getting me addicted. <laughs> all right. Well, now that I'm done choking, um, and I think I've asked you all the questions that I can think of. Um, I guess that's it. But thanks for being my first guest. It wasn't even that bad, was it? Nope. Painless. Not like to work out. No. <laughs>